What's up guys, Gary7 here and welcome to this 7 days to die video showing you the bomb shelter in the burnt biome uh, from Alpha 14 I believe. That's what we're going to do, bring up the map a second. I can show you the coordinates are 87 south, 1140 west. Um, again it's near Gravestown, between like Gravestown um, and Perishton and we've got obviously Dyersville just over here, about there. Uh, so what we're going to do is quickly show you Again, if you want to closer up, look, we've got the cell tower just here and then the bomb shower here. There's a couple of ways in. You can either break through this hatch if you've got a really good, uh, what's it called, pickaxe. Can't get my words out today. Uh, and then once you've broken in this way, like so, but then you can break in again with another pickaxe. You need quite strong gear to get this, otherwise it'll take a long time. Um, you can either break in through the vents like this. I'm going to break in this way and then I'll show you going out another way. Um, yeah, it's just in case, like I said, breaking through this. Okay, guys, so here we are. We've just broken down, obviously, through this here event. Again, with all these covers to search. Uh, loads of rooms around. Let's break into this one just to the left-hand side of the kitchen. Again, there's lots, lots of loot in here. Worth searching again. If you manage to get in here, again, corpses. Loads of more covers than that here. If you go out the kitchen, we've got all of these bits of material here, which I think you start breaking these down. You get yourself copper wires, iron. Again, I'm not going to break too much down, but again, you can see we get iron from all this stuff if you break it down. We've got a heavy door here. Again, we'll break through this one. Go and once you're through this here, you've got a stairway. Now, this stairway is the other entrance, obviously. If we break through these, that building that I showed you from the garden is where this one leads to, basically. Well, not the garden, it's really it's a cover area, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah, we jump up here, and then this here is where we spawned in. Here, ready? Boom. So that's where we spawned in, and we broke in through that vent just behind that car. Again, loads of loot in and around this area. Again, it could make a really cool base. Um, search in here. Again, we've got other rooms. Obviously, this side, I think, more storage areas by the look of it. Might be the bathroom. So this here's a bathroom. And then to this side here, I think, is the sleeping quarters. Again, loads and loads of resources in here. I'm not going to show it off too fully because I want people to still have a surprise if they find it. Um, so again, you've got bookcases to search. Lockers, beds, a gun safe. I think we've also got an ammo box down here, a wooden chest. Again, all this stuff is searchable. This uh, gun safe, again, we'll have gun parts in that, I presume, or something good. Again, so you can see this could even make a really cool base because the only way they can get in is through that vent, which you could even block up completely or we'll put loads of traps down and around it. And this stairwell, so you could literally funnel them down here and make yourself a cool kill room. Um, but that is the bunker, guys. Um, I'll show you it from the back side a second. Here we are. So outside here, you can just see it looks like a normal building. Again, it'd be easy enough to fortify this and then put some defences around the outside if you wanted to live in this biome. But again, there's not really a great deal of stuff here. Um, again, we've got the cell tower just over there. So here we have it. That is the bunker. Right here, we've got the uh, way in we came, and then obviously you can break through that doorway there and go down the stairs instead. Um, but if you did enjoy this video showing you off the bomb shelter for seven days to die, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think of it. If you made a base, feel free to leave uh, pictures in the description or send me the pictures on Twitter at Gary87 underscore. Also, make sure if you like to see any of my live streams, check out twitch.tv slash Gary underscore 87, where I live stream a lot of seven days to die at the moment as well as other games. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye.